Jeep Wrangler Cold Start. It's 50 degrees. I mean, come on. Okay, so it's not that cold out. I know. But it's amazing how much of a wimp you become when you move from the north. I used to live up north in Ohio. It got cold. I mean, sometimes it was... You know, wind chills of minus 20, minus 30, even worse a few seasons while I was there. Now I'm in South Texas. You know, last summer I think we had a high, several highs, over a hundred. It's humid, it's hot. You suddenly get very heat acclimated, I guess. And then when it gets cold outside, and cold to me now, honestly, I hate to admit it, but below like 75 degrees is starting to feel a little chilly. So you can imagine 50, that feels pretty cold. It was actually, I think 27 last night outside. So that's pretty cold to me. But anyway, there's a, a few things that my Jeep Wrangler is missing uh, that are really obvious to me now that it's gotten cold outside. Before I get into that though, a little pet peeve of mine. I noticed when I jumped in the Jeep this morning, the tire pressures were down. You know, I have different tires on here. They're more aggressive, just a hair bigger, a little bit wider. And when you go to those kind of tires, really any tires, but it seems to be more predominant with the bigger aftermarket versions, uh, you lose air pressure when the temperature drops outside or when a big front or something goes through. And that's what's happened. I've lost three pounds in every tire consistently it drives me nuts it means I have to drag out the compressor fill up the tires I know first world problems right but still it's just one of those little pet peeve things of mine so what am I missing what is this Jeep missing that I'd like to have well first of all power up windows one touch power up windows I have power up windows but the one touch where you just kind of hold the button you know it clicks past that little point they go up by themselves right now I have to I have to hold the button down I know it's terrible right what an inconvenience but it is an inconvenience when you get used to it when your other vehicles have it you know I'll often forget I'm in the Jeep I put the window down you know I'm going to the McDonald's or something the drive-through and then I pull away and I just tap the button expecting the window to go all the way up by itself well of course that does not happen just one of those things I wish I had. And I think there might be uh, a couple of aftermarket kits out there uh, that will allow you to do that, but they seem to be rather involved. I'll have to investigate them a little bit further. Next up, climate control, automatic climate control. I don't have that in this Jeep. What I have is the older style um, manual version. So you have to turn the heat on, and then you have to adjust the level that you want the heat at manually. You know, it's got a little gauge there and it's got a blue area for cool and a red area for hot. You have to move that arrow up and down with the controller knob to get it where you want it. Right now, I've got it set fairly warm and I'm starting to bake in here. So I, I have to lower it, which means I got to push the button until I get it hopefully where I want it. Again, this is one of those things that you get really used to. In my other vehicles, I have climate control. So I set a temperature where I want it, then I forget about it. The vehicles take care of it themselves. And FYI, I usually run at about 77 degrees. So I keep the air conditioner there and I keep the heat there because that's where I'm most comfortable. I really do miss that. Next up. I hate to say it because it's it would be needed so infrequently for me where I'm at, but right now when you go out and you get in the Jeep and it's really cold outside, anything below 50 degrees, uh, the steering wheel is cold. And I hate wearing gloves. You know, I always feel weird wearing gloves down here because I've got gloves on, of course a heavier coat, which I'm not wearing now, and then I'm staring at palm trees. You know, I had somebody comment on the channel. It was on uh, a short that I did. It was recently. And they were talking about how it's so terrible and it must be so cold here with all these palm trees around. I really can't argue that. 
But just because there's palm trees does not mean that it's warm outside. It apparently can get cold here. I've been in South Texas for the last about five years, I think, and we've had cold snaps like this, I believe three out of those five years where we've had more than one day of sub-freezing temperatures. Of course, the plants hate that. Palm trees don't like that. They don't grow in those kind of climates. There's been a few that have died around here because of it. And if you didn't know the way that it works, the palm tree center freezes and then it unthaws and it can crack and, and split just like your pipes would if they freeze, right? But also when that happens, they die. And they die from the inside, I believe, from the inside out. So it takes a while. You don't even know what's happening until you start to see the palm fronds turn colors. And when you cut those things down, let me tell you, they stink. It's like something crawled up in there and died. It's a horrible smell. Must be a, a pretty painful death for the tree too. I don't know. But anyway, those are, are three things that I really do miss. There's one other, and it's, it's another petty one, and that is automatic power seats. You know, I would love to have automatic power seats in here. Right now, I've got the manual version where you, you, know, you have to crank the handle to raise the seat or turn the knob to move it this way or that way or whatever. Another first world problem, of course, but you get used to these things. And it's always funny too, you know, if you're familiar with the Jeep Wrangler or Jeep in general, uh, they have a handle. The Gladiator has the same thing. They have like a, a strap, it's not a handle. It's like a, a canvas strap. And you have to pull on that to make the seat go forward and backward. I'm talking about the back part of the seat. So if anybody ever gets in that's not you and drives your vehicle, uh, it's going to be off. And I run into this on my mother's Jeep Wrangler because I always tilt the seat apparently pretty far back, I'm told. And others that ride in there with her do not. So I get in that and I'm trying to remember and trying to feel around and find that canvas strap so I can pull on it to get the seat angle the way that I want it. Just another one of those little pet peeve type things that drives me nuts. Now, to close on here, I, I have to comment on the heater, right? I will say the Jeep Wrangler has a pretty darn strong heater because not long after I pulled out of the garage, uh, the heat really started to kick in at a point where I actually had to turn it down because it's too hot and I'm almost there again. So kudos to uh, Stellantis, Mopar, Jeep, whoever they are these days for putting a good, strong heater in the truck. There's nothing worse than getting in your vehicle, and I've had these before, where you're driving for 10, 15 minutes and you're still freezing to death because it doesn't heat up. That drives me nuts. Anyway, I just wanted to get on, kind of run through, you know, a handful of things, I guess, that I don't have in the Wrangler that I wish I did. And that's probably a reason to maybe go a little higher in trim level because I'm sure if you go up a bit higher, uh, you probably get some of these things anyway. Leave a comment, let me know. If you're driving around in a Jeep Wrangler, what do you miss that maybe is available in some of your other vehicles or that you've had in other vehicles? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay warm out there. Bye.